Glenn Edward Rogers, born July 15, 1962, also known as the Cross Country Killer, or the Casanova Killer, is an American serial killer. He was convicted of two murders and is a suspect in numerous others throughout the United States, including being mentioned and considered by investigators in Los Angeles County as a possible alternative suspect to O. J. Simpson in the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. Although as of 2017 nothing has developed regarding these allegations, Rogers was featured on the FBI 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list after a crime spree that began on September 28, 1995 with Rogers' first authoritatively established murder. Early Life Rogers was born and raised in Hamilton, Ohio. He was one of seven children born to Edna, Nasiers, and Claude Rogers. Claude was a pump operator at the local Champion Paper Company. Rogers was expelled from his junior high school before he was 16. Sometime after his expulsion, Rogers' 14-year-old girlfriend, Deborah Ann Nix got pregnant from another male. The young couple married soon after then had another child in 1981. In 1983, Nix filed for divorce alleging brutal physical abuse. Murders Authorities suspected Rogers in the stabbing or strangling of an elderly man from Ohio in 1993 and four women in California, Mississippi, Florida and Louisiana. He originally claimed the number of murders was closer to 70, but then recanted his statement, claiming he was joking and had not committed any murders. On January 10, 1994, police recovered the remains of 71-year-old Mark Peters, a retired electrician and veteran, in a cabin belonging to the family of Glenn Rogers in Beattyville, Kentucky. Peters had taken Glenn Rogers in and allowed him to live in his home prior to October 1993 when Mark Peters was reported missing along with his car and several valuable personal items including antiques, guns, and a collection of coins. Rogers had disappeared as well and it was reportedly his brother, Clay, who led police to search the family cabin for clues, leading to the discovery of Pettis' skeleton which was found bound to a chair and covered by a pile of furniture. On September 28, 1995, Sandra Gallagher, a 33-year-old mother of three, crossed paths with Rizzers at McCred's Bar in Van Nuys, Los Angeles. The next day, Gallagher's strangled and badly burned corpse was found in her car near Rogers' Van Nuys apartment. Authorities allege that after murdering Gallagher, Rogers moved on to Mississippi, Louisiana and Florida, killing a woman in each state. Kathy Carroll, Price's sister, said Price had met Rogers at a tent where beers were being served at the Mississippi State Fair. She remembered that her sister would repeatedly say, Ain't he good looking? Rogers and Price briefly shared an apartment in Jackson. The last time Carol saw her sister was the night before Halloween 1995, when the two were planning to have Carol's grandchildren go trick-or-treating at Price's apartment. However, the next day, Price did not answer her door and Rogers was gone. Similar to the other killings, Price and Rogers met over drinks. And, like the other women, Price was in her 30s and had red hair, like Cribs. She was also found dead in a bathtub. On November 5, 1995, Cripps was seen leaving the Showtown Barn in Tampa, Florida, with Rogers. A bartender told police that Rogers had bought Cribs and her friends drinks and that Cribs was later asked for a ride by Rogers. Two days later, a member of the cleaning staff in the Tampa motel found Cribs' body. She had been stabbed in the chest and the buttocks. A clerk at the motel told authorities that Rogers had arrived at the motel a few days before the murder. On November 5, Rogers paid for an extra night and asked that his room not be cleaned. The clerk then saw Rogers putting his belongings into a white Ford Festiva. The next day, 
Cribb's wallet was discovered at a rest area in North Florida. The fingerprints lifted from her wallet in the motel room were matched to Rogers. On November 13, Rogers was arrested in Kentucky driving Cribbs's car, which he claimed had been lent to him. He also said Cribbs was alive when he left. On July 11, 1997, Rogers was convicted and sentenced to death for the murder of Tina Marie Cribbs. Sutton was a known acquaintance of Rogers. Her slashed body was found on November 9, 1995, on a punctured waterbed in her apartment in Bossier City. Sentence and Appeals Rogers was scheduled to be put to death on Valentine's Day, 1999, in Florida, but he immediately appealed to the Florida Supreme Court claiming that the state had not presented enough evidence to support the charges. Rogers also argued that the trial court should have granted the defense's motions for a mistrial, because a witness was allowed to testify about a misdemeanor for which Rogers was convicted in California. He also claimed the prosecution was also allowed to present an improper argument during closing arguments. His appeal was delayed until March 2001, and was ultimately denied. In April 2005, Rogers filed another appeal, which is still pending. Should his death sentence ever be overturned based on a charge of prosecutorial misconduct, he will no longer be eligible for execution in the state of California. Television and Film The 2012 documentary My Brother the Serial Killer goes in depth about Rogers' murder spree, including his claim that he killed ex-football star O. J. Simpson's ex-wife, Nicole. Rogers was the subject of an episode of the The FBI Files titled Deadly Stranger. Season 3, Episode 12. He was also the subject of an episode of Southern Fried Homicide titled Smooth Talking Devil. Season 3, Episode 2. On Investigation Discovery.